Good afternoon, traders. It is Thursday, October 10th, 2013, and the U.S. stock market is closed. And wow, what a day today! The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 323 points. I don't think it's I don't think it's had any a gain like that all year long. So this is like the biggest gain all year for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So what's pushing a market? What, what makes this market go like this? Well, it's basically, it's not a settlement on government closure. It is a rumor that uh, they may strike a deal and, and raise uh, the debt ceiling temporarily so the government won't default on its debt. That's basically what it's all about. It's not a settlement. And I would ask you that, hey, if we got a market that on the basis of a good rumor that there's not going to be a default on, on our debts, that that's going to drive the market over 300 points. Doesn't that mean we have a bull market? Doesn't that mean that this market really wants to go up bad? And I say categorically, of course. That's exactly what it means. And it's what I've been saying all along. This, this, is, this market wants so bad to roar. This is a bull market that is being restrained artificially by a lot of nonsense. And as soon as we get that nonsense out of the way, this market is going to scream. We're going to see a bull market like we've never seen before. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's the good news. Okay, we got into 30 new positions today. Now, would you think that uh, when we get into 30 new positions and the Dow goes up 323 points, Hey, we must be holding twenty, thirty thousand dollars in open trade equity, right? Wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what happened today. We're holding thirty-six hundred dollars. That's what we got in open trade equity, and we closed out, by the way, uh, three hundred and uh, no, not uh, we we closed out like one hundred and sixty-two dollars today. So you know, for us, it was not. The greatest day. It was just kind of a so so good day. I looked at this and I tried to figure out, out what was going on. 30 markets, 30 markets that we took, we only have one that has uh, uh, open trade equity of over a thousand dollars. Now, are, are, are you know, most of them are positive, but there are positive just a few hundred dollars. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I would be worried if I thought there was any chance that the market uh, would really collapse tomorrow. Uh, that wouldn't happen unless we have another a bad rumor tomorrow. But I, I, I really think we will get out of this uh, in uh, pretty good shape probably. But uh, it, it was kind of a strange day in, in, with regard to our, our equity and our performance. Anyway, let's take a look at the charts. Okay, we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average here, and you can see here uh, this was this half-baked effort of a rally yesterday um, that, I don't know, I think it was maybe 20-some points that the market made yesterday. And then, of course, but as I say, we get in this uh, rumor mode yesterday that maybe we're making progress to settle this government closure thing and this market just screamed topside and it's kind of weird I, I, I just can't explain why we didn't do better than we did because normally I would have expected that you know we would have bought a bunch of stuff here and we would still be showing some very nice profits up here but that really didn't happen and so we're just going to have to uh, be happy with our three thousand dollars or something. I have only one, you know, decent solid trade to show you here. This was in PKD, which is Parker Drilling, and we bought this uh, right after that 
big spike up. I would have expected all the markets to do what Parker Drilling did that didn't. But anyway, Parker Drilling did what I would have expected. It just kept going up, up, and closed near its highs. And I think we got pretty close to uh, $2,500 or something uh, in open trade in Parker Drilling. That was it. But um, sometimes these things can surprise you. And, you know, the, these positions may be kind of uh, lackadaisical today and then tomorrow the market may open up neutral or maybe up 10 or something and these markets will just go through the roof. I've seen that happen. So anyway, I'm hoping for some better fo follow through tomorrow. This is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you tomorrow on Friday.